what is up you guys welcome to another weekly vlog so um it's sunday afternoon and i'm in my bathroom and i'll show it to you guys in a little bit anxiety but i've been trying to sort out my bathroom trying to figure out how i can make it work for me considering it's such a small bathroom and i don't want to clutter it too much like i'm and also i have a lot of junk that i also need to get rid of so i decided to take today to work on my bathroom so i'm going to flip my screen and just show you guys so over here is like my sink vanity area which is a mess right now because i'm in the process of like moving things obviously the mirror um over here this is uh, see guys everything's everywhere your almost shaving cream but i have this like it's one of those bamboo thingies that you put across the bathtub like where you can place your stuff your stuff on and like your drink and stuff like that i insert a picture but i'm sure you guys know what i mean and then over here it's just like the toilet area and the door is this way i have my towel and stuff hanging here i have <laughs> stuff that shouldn't be here here and then over here i have this um bamboo shelf over toilet shelf that i just got i got it last night and we just put it together today and we put it up um and that's where i've put my storage my acrylic storage case with my makeup i put this plant over on top here um just temporarily i think maybe at the end of the month because i think i've decimated my budget for these extracurricular activities for this month and you know we are being financially smart guys so i think at the end of the month so end of feb i'll get a pothos plant which is those hanging vibes i think that will be good for the bathroom and i think it's also it doesn't require a lot of light um this artificial one i don't know what i'll do with it still um, I have these. I think I told you guys about these. I want to put these up on the wall here. Um, so I'm going to do that too. Um, this tissue box, I actually want to get one of those acrylic cover ones so it can match. I might move this. I don't know. I might move this plant and put here a candle. I think so. Um, I want to get those acrylic tissue boxes so it matches this one and then on here I don't know what I'll still put down there but I'll figure it out because I mean I have a lot of stuff I did want to put my makeup brushes up here but now I realize that it's not enough space and if I put it up here I won't be able to reach so I just put it here in the middle that's fine for me um, so yeah um, this this is embarrassing to even show you guys but authenticity right this is my what it looks under my sink i have so much junk and things that i could really throw away so i'm gonna go through all of this as well and whatever i haven't used in the past six months it's gone going going gone so yeah i think i'm gonna put up the pictures and i think i should do that last let me clear this area and figure out how that's gonna look oh another thing that i do want to do shower curtain honestly we bought these as a sort of like we needed shower curtains when we were moving into this place last year um because we are like we we were traveling i don't know but we basically just picked up the first set of shower curtains that we needed and we got this but um i want to change and get like a plain one or like just a more zen one you know because i need my bathroom to be giving me zen vibes i also at some point want to change out this bath mats again these were the first bath mats we saw last year when we moved in so we just bought them because we needed bath mats we needed to take a shower um and i was like in the middle of work so i was just like i do not have time to be shopping for bathroom things so we just grabbed what we could and kept it moving so i definitely want to switch those things over swing switch them out at the end of time over time sorry i'm looking actually i might go on ruggable because they have rugs that are easily washed in the washing machine i actually want to get a runner for the kitchen because the ground gets so cold let me see i'm gonna look on ruggable actually so i can start already putting it in my budget for next month because it wasn't in this month's budget ruggable size 
Okay, I have to do this on the computer. But anyway, I'm gonna look on Ragabout and see. But for now, I think I'm gonna place you guys. Let me go get my tripod, place you guys up somewhere, and we can sort out this bathroom together. Okay, guys, so this is the inside of my bathroom cabinet. And basically, I'm going to make two piles things that I've used in the past six months and things that I haven't. And then I'm gonna pack the ones that I have I have used and pack them in back in the thing and then the ones that I haven't I am going to first make sure that yom is not it's nothing that is yom's and that's why I haven't used it because sometimes I keep his stuff in here um, and then just throw it out I am just letting go of it um, and I just ooh, janky I just remembered something that I wasn't gonna clean, I was just gonna organize um, because my uh, helper is coming Tuesday. But then I realized that Tuesday is still, there's still gonna be a snowstorm um, warning in place. So I don't know if she'll actually come. Um, and I don't know if she's able to come on other days. So I'm thinking I might just actually clean because she might not be able to come this week. And another thing, I'm cooking too so i like need to make sure i don't like get caught up in my organization and make my food burn but anyway let's get cleaning why don't you get it by now tell me what you learn in grade school give it to me. okay guys so this is the pile that i'm supposedly keeping And it's still a lot of stuff I feel like. And this is all I'm throwing away. I don't know what's wrong with me. But I think if I do take those tampons out of the boxes and somehow organize them, it will definitely help a lot. Um, what else can I possibly organize? The tampons, I think I could do those um, earbuds. I think that will make a difference. And then these makeup remover towelettes I can definitely take out. That will also help. Um, the brushes and stuff too I'll make a plan for them as well and then some of these things like the flexi rods I'm going to take to the other room where I have like all my hair stuff um, speaking of hair oh, guys I've ordered some hair because like nothing fancy just the look a wig thing but now I'm thinking I probably won't get it any time because of the snowstorm like everything's going to be backed up so I need to figure out what to do with my hair. But anyway, let me let me pack the, these things. Um, oh, and I decided I want to get like small little baskets. I wish I was in Namibia for this because I know I could get them so easily made by someone. Like woven baskets for my shelf. So I definitely want to get those, but that's fine. Just for a little bit of aesthetic, you know. Um, and I can maybe keep something nice in there. But anyway, let me pack these things up. But first I need to go check on my chicken. Lord. Me like you want it. Did you forget that golden rule? What is our love at one side? It should really be give and take. Fill you up and leave me empty. Baby, was that my mistake? Covering these feelings. Going through changes. Um, so I just got um, back from the 
gym, right? And I need to take a shower and finally wash my hair. So, guys, it's been such a weird day. So yesterday there was a snowstorm, which at some point in the night knocked out our Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's only us in the building or if it's everybody, but basically we woke up this morning, we didn't have internet. And because I've been working from home because of the snowstorm, um, or rather even since last year, I work and save stuff on my iCloud so that when I'm in the office, I can easily access anything that I was working at home on. So now, obviously, because there's no internet, iCloud's not working, and I haven't been able to work, but it's fine, you guys. I decided to not use that as an excuse to not be productive, so I literally just shifted my day around. So I was supposed to go to gym in the evening. I went to gym now in the morning instead. Um, can I help you? Can I help you? Carry on. Carry on. What are you doing? I was picking the blood. Seizure. Is that your participation? Yes. <laughs> okay. But I got a change. Okay. And so, anyway, so I decided to go to gym now and I'm also going to wash my hair now. All of this I was supposed to do in the evening, but I'm doing it now since I can't work. Um, and then, hopefully by then the thing, Wi-Fi will be back. They did say they're working on it, so I'm hopeful that it will be back and I can, you know, power on through the rest of, of the day. And I'm not stressing about, you know, things that I can't do as early as I want to, just because shit happens. It's life, right? Um yeah let's get cleaned up and get this hair done i am just gonna wash it condition it maybe i'll condition no but i don't want to come back in the shower condition it and then just let it dry, air dry um and then i'm gonna blow it out in the evening and braid it down either blow it out today and then braid down tomorrow or do both today depending on how i feel but anyway by the way this is the new setup in my bathroom so okay so i have this plant here and then this is just this um fragrance diffuser thing and then obviously my makeup storage this bowl currently just has like two hair clips in it nothing major and then i have some tissues on the side here i'm probably going to get an acrylic box to match tissue box to match the the thing and then over here i have another acrylic situation that i bought in tj maxx or home goods or something like that and so i just put all my tampons on here so that they're readily available and then i have these my uh, neutrogena uh, makeup remover wipes and then i have some earbuds over here and then i put this uh forever mood cuffing season candle over here it smells so good but i haven't opened it yet and then I have this little plant here, which I'll probably switch out as well. I just didn't want to, I, I didn't know what to do with it. Um, but I am thinking of ways to revamp this a little bit. This is just like first instance. Let me step back. First instance, um, how I set it up. Um, but I'm going to, you know, add little decorating pieces as I go along just to make it look more comfortable and not stylish and more aesthetically pleasing. I did put up these um, line drawings that I told you guys about. So I have one on this wall and then one on this wall. They actually are set, but because I have two blank walls, I didn't want to, you know, clearly I'm not the best at putting pictures up so you guys can see in that corner, but whatever. It works for now. And that is pretty much my new bathroom. So now my kitchen, my kitchen, my sink area is just have my makeup brushes because I have no idea where to put them and it just wasn't looking good when I put them on the shelf so I'm still figuring that out so I put them here then I have my toothbrush and toothpaste um, and yeah so that's pretty much all that's on my vanity on my this thing basin whatever double sink sink yes it's a sink so yeah I'm about to shower now and wash my hair Hey guys, so I realized I did not come back on camera the entire day, but fam, whoop, it was real today. I had such a difficult work day, like, 
like my anxiety was literally through the roof like over lunchtime I had to like just drop everything and just like put on some worship music um, get out my Bible and just started reading because like, that usually just calms me down I was just having such anxiety like today was such a crap work day um, yeah it was just not a great work day but it's over we push tomorrow's another day we try and do better but right now I'm trying not to even do look at anything work related until tomorrow like it's just it's too much for me it's too much um, but anyway I wanted to quickly unbox something for you guys well not for you guys it's for me but I wanted to unbox it on camera I bought a new wig and the reason I wanted to share with you guys is because um, I, I feel like a lot of people aren't overly aware about these but like surprisingly enough I bought a new wig um, and it's a five by five no it's a six by six um, so if you're like me right and you just do not like the whole frontal vibe like I can't guys I don't have time for frontals like I have maybe one wig that has like the whole lace across the whole front and it just stresses me out I don't even like to wear it anymore because like in the mornings I don't have time to be laying my edges like I just I don't have that kind of time so I started looking this was last year when I first tried my first one I um, started looking around and then I found you know the five by fives um, six by six so basically it's a normal closure it's just a little bit wider because I always found that the normal closures were so small like it didn't look real enough so then um, I was so excited to find out about the five by fives and the five by six and that's what I've been wearing since last year I just feel like obviously they have a more realistic look about them um, and yeah they just yeah they come off more real but obviously without all the work of the like a frontal like so i mean if you want to put glue you literally just put like it comes across like here and that's it done so that's why i wanted to get it um but anyway i bought it from tina shehe i bought from them before my my longer wig that i wore a while back is from them and oh thank goodness they put in a bonnet I was just thinking that I need a new bonnet um, they always give these lashes that are... actually these these aren't too bad actually <laughs> usually these brands give these lashes that are they have some I don't know what this is but some sort of cat thing Oh, it's a headband. That's so kind of them. And it's really nice too. It's like this leopard print headband. Similar to what I'm wearing now. But lip oh, that is so nice. And then of course the wig cap. Um, what else is in here? Yeah, that's it. They just have the, the little pamphlet. So this is Tinashe hair if anyone is interested. Um, the hair I got from them, I got it last year around this time. I, was, I did a 5x5 five five or 5x6 five frontal um and it came no i did a five by five frontal and then i no closure rather and then i did three bundles of i think 20 or 22 inches and i made it into a wig when it came and um i, I still wear it to this day it's one of my favorites so anyway this is the wig it does come in this box um i'm just gonna open it up um and i think their wigs are relatively affordable and the quality is good like it doesn't shed too much like i, I did not i experienced the normal amount of shedding so not like one of those wigs where everywhere you go around the house it's just hair falling following you around like a little puppy so so it comes packaged like this it has this little net over it so that's always good and then of course it has this thing on the inside to help keep its shape 
and I'm just gonna take it off so I can show you guys the frontal in case anyone is interested it has changed my life guys like it definitely gives oh and this lace is nicer than usual so this is the frontal you guys I mean the closure so it's as you can see it's wider than the usual closures and this is just like a bob I don't have the time to fix it today but I'll definitely get onto it tomorrow so I think maybe if I have time tonight I'll wash it and then it get dry while I'm at work tomorrow and then I can the knots are fairly bleached I don't have to do too much bleaching I might actually only do this over the weekend though to be honest um, and it's a 12 inch bob. I really wanted a bob. I wanted a body wave one, but I couldn't find one um, And yeah, so this is it. So if you're like me and you're over the whole so this is it Literally just the front of your face. So if you're like me and you're over the whole um, frontal thing definitely look into investing in a into investing in a um, larger closure they they are a thing guys they've been a thing I know I did speak to someone who was like yeah no most people aren't aware of those so yeah fire anyway guys I'm about to go start cooking now giving in and just like washing the wig I braided down my hair and I'm actually gonna wear it for tomorrow so I washed it and I was just blowing it out now I think it's fine I haven't bleached the knots yet but they're also like not too bad so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go finish doing this in my bathroom and then I'm going straight to bed I am very very tired and I have a very very busy and early day tomorrow so i will see you guys maybe tomorrow maybe thursday but at some point during this week so.